Yeah. <laughs> Craig? We good? You're good. All right. Yep. And I'll go back there with Jason, I guess? Yep. Excuse me, guys. Excuse me. All right. You got it? You good? We got it. We're good. All right. Are you good? Yeah. We're good. We're cool. live. Go. Cool. We got 14 people. Nice. 14 people. Throw a razor if I start to get the camera. Tell her they do. And this is my girlfriend. Goes first. Okay. Yep. Bubbly, sexy, sherry, Barbie bride. <laughs> Everybody clap! <laughs> <laughs> you both and all of you fools, you jumped on your brooms and flew here to Salem, Massachusetts, the witch city, where today you two will be tying the noose around each other's necks. I'm crazy. Are you sure you want to do this? 
<laughs> I'm so sorry. <laughs> All right. We are gathered here on October 17, 2020 at the haunted Ropes Mansion, a famous landmark in Salem and the location of Allison's home in Disney's film, Hocus Pocus! <laughs> <laughs> you all, well, you both have been celebrating part of your horny moon <laughs> here in Salem. Now, if any of you ghosts or goblins can rise from your graves and show cause as to why these two devils should not be joined by ball and chain, just shut up and crawl back into your holes. <laughs> I have no idea why, but you two gremlins decided to date. and has gone downhill every day like a six foot grave. Everybody on the count of three, shout loud as you can with me, gross and disgusting. One, two, three! Gross and disgusting! A little time, shall we? Succubus Sherry, oh, she was mixing up some witch's brew late, late one night when all of a sudden she heard a what sounded like a black cat screaming out of agony. Oh, Sherry ran to see where this horrific noise was coming from. And to your surprise, Sherry, it was Chris. He was trying his best to entertain his audience of 666 possessed drunk ass guests at a monster mash ball. Well, all of a sudden, your red glaring eyes caught one another's and bam! It was true lust at first sight. I don't need a crystal ball to see that. It makes me want to croak like a frog. Get it? <laughs> well, my advice to you two is to run in opposite directions. Go while you got the chance. No, we'll continue. You paid for it anyway, not getting a refund. <laughs> <laughs> Your first night out on the prowl together was in a hotel with plenty of sushi, Swedish fish, Sour Patch Kids, and Prosecco. It's about as romantic as making love in a mortuary. <laughs> Two weeks later, on, your, uh, on one late, lonely, full moonlit night, Chris jumped in his rusted old, old hearse and drove over to your house of a corpse, uh, your house of a thousand corpses. <laughs> threw your stiff hard body in the back and skidded off for a ridiculous romantic weekend at Baltimore Inner Harbor. <laughs> Unfortunately, it was the perfect date. You two flirted back and forth like two bats in heat. <laughs> and like Siamese twins, you haven't left each other's side since then. From that point on, life together was doomed. <laughs> and here you are finally. <sighs> 30 years later, getting ready to sign the devil's contract. What the hell were you waiting on? I don't know either. You both have been cursed not only for having one another, but for having a huge black cat named Talon in your coven. Oh, I can give him free broom flying lessons if you like. Just hex me after we're done. Okay. And I do hope he pees all over your house. That makes the perfect pet. I do believe we have a special guest with us tonight. Uncle Fester, everybody say welcome, Uncle Fester! Yeah. Welcome, Uncle Fester. You had some words to say, right? Yeah. Okay. <clears throat> Hi, everybody. So, I got a little speech I prepared here. I hope you don't mind. Looks like a damn book. <laughs> Sorry, <I'm not laughs> that's all good. <laughs> welcome, friends, fiends, freaks, and fools, to a day like no other. A day of glorious darkness, terror, and unbridled lust. A day I can only describe as a sexy celebration. 
Mountain of Salem Psychotics. Oh, wait, wait, no, no, that's all wrong, sorry. Today is a celebration of, of marriage. Today, we welcome all of you to the gruesome wedding of Chris and Sherry. Now, I have a very simple message for the bride and groom today about something called true love. <laughs> true love is something to be cherished. Finding someone to spend the rest of your life with, well, it's a very rare thing indeed. Now I can see that your love is an unending love. The kind of love most of us only dream about. You two share a love like no other. A love sought after by people in all walks of life, both above and below ground. <laughs> a love that is rarer than the rarest treasure in the entire universe. A love only you two possess. Now, I know you both will devote every waking moment to each other's many years ago. <laughs> anyway, I found love too. Psycho! But I know, too good to be true. The twinkle in our eyes, the fluttering of our hearts, the I know what you're thinking. Well, I got some tricks up my sleeve. Do oh, <coughs> I digress. <coughs> now, see that you two are in Yeah, uh, trust me, I know these things. I am an Adam! Congratulations to the devil is day. Now, pour the deadly. Join me in celebrating the marriage of Chris and Sherry. Now, I always say to each other, and I think it's appropriate for today's ceremony. To friends, fiends, family, to the bride and the groom. <laughs> Thank you, Gomez. Hey, just as spooky as always. Now, you're not the same Wiccan warriors. You're both older, have less hair, more wrinkles, <laughs> missing some teeth. Lucky guy. <laughs> mip, mip, mip. And I'm sure that sex is the best thing since last month's liver. Not. Speaking of sex, Chris, Sherry has your nuts in a glass jar. <laughs> sitting on the shelf for the whole world to see. <laughs> a small problem. Your problem. Are you two boogers ready? Yeah. Time is drawing near. Yeah. All right. In ancient times, the hen fasting ceremony took place in a period of one year and one day and served as a marriage trial. If the couple days, they called it quits and with their separate long, drawn out, boring days, they tie the noose. I, I mean, the cord. This cord symbolizes the connection between your lives. As your hands will be bound together by this cord, so will your lives be bound together even more strongly. Come a little closer. Um, can I take the flowers? And just take one hand and hold the other hand. That right there. Uh, do, you, do you mind just holding it to just my pleasure? Thank you. All right. And here we go. 
beautiful colors there. So I'm gonna wrap this hand. So if y'all get a little closer there, there you go. Well, don't, don't. You're not checking for a pulse, idiot. Back <laughs> up a little bit. <laughs> Here you go. All right. She's so nervous. She's making me nervous. <laughs> you like this, don't you? Later. <laughs> sure. <laughs> oh. <laughs> All right. These hands are the hands that love one another. These are the hands that will continue to hold and comfort one another through many years. to continue to uphold your vows each and every day through your actions. Chris will, after each question, you want to practice? <laughs> we, we will, after each question, and tell the truth, Sherry. Will you? To ease it. We will. So this binding is made. Will you continue to share your burdens of your mortgage payments? Oh, in this beautiful union. We will. we will. So this binding is made. Will you continue to share each other's sadness for the cloudy, stormy nights in the afterlife? We will. We will. So this binding is also made. Chris and Sherry, as your hands are bound together, so will your lives and your spirits be joined in a union of trust and love. All right. I'm gonna take this off, right? You just gently slide your, we'll get it. I'm <laughs> going. Almost done. Do you, Chris, take Sherry to be your dreadfully wicked witch and live together forever in a creepy cottage hidden way back in the thick, foggy forest? Comfort, honor, and keep her tied up while in sickness and in health for facelift after facelift for better. <laughs> this is serious stuff here. You know how long I I do. I do. Yes, you I, do. I, do. I do. Does he laugh in bed too? <laughs> yeah, no, I do. <laughs> and in health for facelift after facelift, for better or for worse, for as long as you two zombies walk through cemeteries. I do. Okay. Yeah. Shit, yeah. I, it was him. I got you. Oh, okay. <laughs> She's been drinking too much. Yeah. <laughs> Your turn, Sherry. <laughs> Sorry to complain. I thought we were still in the middle. We're good. Just go with it. Do you, Sherry, take Chris to be your awfully wedded warlock? Will you live with him in this dark old creepy cottage hidden in a thick foggy forest that I just described? I will. Sherry, will you love, comfort, honor, and keep him handcuffed in sickness and in health for richer and for richer, hopefully, for better or for worse, for as long as you two stop around the earth like dinosaurs in Jurassic Park? <laughs> I will. <laughs> Jason! Do you have the ring, sir? I don't talk, he's tough little guy. I don't trust him. There you go. All right, Ice. hold on. Oh, All right, we, got to, we got to bless these rings. Thank you, Jason. Hold them up high, Jason. Nice. Oh, Satan. Nice. We ask that your evil blessing upon these rings that they may be constant symbols of Chris and Sherry's unending horror of love and devotion. I'm gonna take Sherry's ring now. Is I'm sure it's this one, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. All right, don't give me the finger. <laughs> Chris, please take this ring and slide it halfway onto Sherry's finger. And repeat after me. Look at Sherry. 
I, Chris. I, Chris. Give you Sherry. Give you Sherry. An everlasting promise. An everlasting promise. And an affirmation. And an affirmation. Of my love to you. Of my love to you. You are my life. You are my life. You're my soul. You're my soul. You're my nightmare. You're my nightmare. <laughs> I will be with you for eternity. I will be with you for eternity. Chris, please slide the ring all the way onto her finger. Jason! <laughs> Here we go. Sherry, please take this ring and slide it halfway on to Chris's finger. And look deep into his eyes and repeat after me, Sherry. Hi, Sherry. Hi, Sherry. Give you Chris. Give you Chris. A chance to run. To run. I give you an everlasting promise. I give you an everlasting promise. And an affirmation. And an affirmation. Of my love to you. Of my love to you. You are my heart. You are my heart. You have my support. You have my support. I will be with you until eternity. I will be with you until eternity. Sherry, please slide the ring on to Chris's finger. Great. Now, memories of your love shall unite, your heart shall be bonded together, in true love you shall stay together. You may now remove your masks, <laughs> and you may bite each other's necks or whatever you mortals do. <laughs> Yay! Yay! Now I'll ask you to kindly put the mask back on. Yep. Now, Chris and Sherry, for true love is like a ghost often mentioned but rarely seen. Werewolves, ghosts, goblins, the dead, and of course, the Sanderson sisters. <laughs> and all you strangers, it is with great pleasure that I present to you, and if you want to turn around, Chris and Sherry Madalini. <laughs> Every time I hear the marshmallow and friends, I am always on the outside looking in. Maybe that is why I see the funny side when I see a fallen brother take a bride. Well, he would make a lot of money. See why you said yes. But if you're not the groom, they're not going to You two, your first dance together. Another bride. Another groom. Another miserable afternoon. Another reason. Another season for making you whoopee. Congratulations. I saw. Thank you guys for watching. Send them a Christmas wedding gift. The Hawthorne Hotel. Come here, guys. Yeah, come on, guys. Awesome. Okay. Let me, uh, I got this. Greg, thank you so much. You're quite welcome.